There's feathers all over my yard and my chickens look like hot garbage. <laughs> Jessica, you look terrible. You don't even have a tail. <laughs> Why are my chickens losing feathers? Let's talk about it. In an uncertain world, one thing unites us all, the chicken. From the suburbs to the big city, let's learn an inclusive and stress-free way to raise chickens. Welcome to Chickenlandia. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. In the late summer and early fall, I get a lot of messages from people who are confused because all of a sudden there's feathers all over their chicken yard and their chickens are visibly losing feathers. So understandably, they're concerned about it, but usually it's nothing to be concerned about. It's just the annual molt that all chickens go through. They are dropping their old scraggly feathers and replacing them with new strong feathers so that they can get through the winter months. My rooster, Philippe, is almost done with his molt, and he's looking pretty good. Looking good, Philippe. I won't tell them how you just attacked me. So we're going to get into what you can do to help your chickens through their molt, because it can be kind of a stressful time for them. But first, I want to rule out any other reasons that your chickens might be losing feathers. So let's talk about it. Being broody again. Meanwhile, they're waiting in line. <laughs> Bored chickens or chickens that aren't getting the proper nutrition can sometimes start picking and eating their flock mates feathers, which is considered a form of cannibalism in chickens, which is never what we want to have to deal with. It usually happens in young chickens, but it can start at any age and it can be habit forming if you don't deal with it right away. So we definitely want to address that. I know that some of you probably keep chickens on wire sometimes, but I really feel like it's better for them to be on the ground so that they can peck and scratch and have that natural behavior. Otherwise they can develop behaviors that are not optimal like picking feathers because they're not allowed to practice their natural instinct which is to peck and scratch. Hello Kiki. <laughs> Kiki's dirty. She needs a bath. You need a bath Kiki? I'm gonna give you one. You definitely don't want chickens to be overcrowded. I recommend four square feet per chicken inside the coop if that's their main place where they can seek shelter from the elements. If they have other areas like a covered run outside of their coop, you can get away with no less than two square feet per standard size chicken inside the coop. That way they won't get super stressed out, especially if it's like raining or snowing for a long time and they have to be in the coop. You don't want them to get bored and start looking at each other and thinking, hey, I'd like to pick your feathers off and eat them. <laughs> If you have your chickens in an enclosed run, you wanna make sure they have enough enrichment within that run to keep them from getting bored and turning on each other and developing bad habits. So inside my run, I have an area where they can go and get out of the elements. I have areas where they can dust bathe at least 10 square feet of space per standard size chicken is what I recommend. And you can also use things like a flock block or you can tie a cabbage up and have them peck at it. There's lots of things that you can do to just try and occupy their time and make sure that they're not getting bored. Pac-Man, you are wild and Polish. He's loving chickens. Chickens that are stressed out are more likely to start feather picking. If there has been repeated predator attacks, you want to make sure and remedy that problem. If there's construction nearby, that's another thing that might stress them out. If there's not a lot you can do to stop the stress, hopefully it's just temporary, you can get some rescue remedy. It's a product that works like a homeopathic and you can just put a couple drops in their water and it helps to just kind of ease that stress. Now, if they are in a stressful situation, you definitely want to amend that situation, but rescue remedy can help.
Another reason that your chickens might start pulling feathers from their flock mates is that they're not getting the proper nutrition. If you're feeding scraps, make sure that they're not just eating like too much of one thing. If you are feeding a mash feed, like scratch and peck feeds, which is what I use, I really would suggest that you wet it down or you ferment it because that way they will get all the nutrition in the feed. Sometimes with these types of feeds, which are really high quality and great feeds, chickens will start to pick out what they want from it and not eat you know all of it so that's not good for them they need the fines which is the powdery part of the feed because that has important nutrition in it you could also supplement with a little bit of grubs or mealworms don't give them too much protein don't go overboard a little bit of extra protein might help the problem if you notice that you have one chicken that is chasing other chickens and pulling feathers and just being a real pain. It's a pecking order problem where one chicken has decided that they're just gonna really go overboard with being on top of the pecking order. And even though the pecking order is natural, at the point that they're harming other chickens, you really should step in. I have a video about that. I'm gonna post that in the description. There's a process that you can follow. It's a little more than I wanna get into here but that video will definitely help you figure it out and hopefully alleviate that problem. Another thing that can cause feather loss is rooster damage. That is when a rooster is overactive with the hens. What can I say? When roosters and hens get together, there's a little bit of friction involved. <laughs> If you don't have the right ratio of hens per rooster, it can be a problem. And a rooster can overmate the hens. That will make her lose feathers, usually along the back of her neck and at the base of her tail. I recommend having at least eight hens per rooster. But even then, sometimes a rooster can have a favorite hen. And if that's the case, you might want to use something like a hen saddle. What it does is it just protects the hands back so that she doesn't experience any more feather loss from rooster damage. Molting season is also a time when mites and lice can happen in your flock. It's very common because your chickens are already compromised because they're going through a molt. I want you to make sure, and if you're noticing feather loss, check for mites and lice. If they have them, you need to treat them and you need to treat your coop because you really don't want your chickens to be fighting off parasites when they're also molting because molting is stressful to chickens. So let's talk about what we can do to help them through it. Molting usually happens in the late summer and early fall, but it can also happen in the spring. Of course, there's always that one wacky chicken that decides to molt in the dead of winter, <laughs> and it's usually a frizzle, but that doesn't happen very often. I gotta move over here because my chickens are being so loud. A great way to get your chickens through their molt is to make sure that they're getting the proper nutrition. If you have them on a 16% protein feed, you might go up to an 18% during this time. Um, another thing you can do if you don't want to switch their feed over is supplement a little bit of a healthy protein treat. This would be grubs or mealworms or healthy protein scraps. If they're having a particularly tough time, I will also add some vitamins, electrolytes, and probiotics to their water just to give them a little bit of a boost and make it easier for them to get through it. Really the best thing that you can do for your chickens to help them through their molt is just be patient with them because they're not going to be laying eggs during that time. They need to use all the energy to grow new feathers so that they'll have nice strong feathers for the winter months. Now speaking of winter, if you want to know how to get your chickens through the winter beautifully, I want you to click on this playlist right here. It's all about getting your chickens through the winter, the chicken landia way. And of course, it's 100% friendly backyard chicken education and entertainment. And you're gonna love it.